Hello and welcome back to Jack's FSX videos. Today is a tutorial to show you and tell you what the terms departure, crosswind, downwind, base and final mean when flying an aircraft in FSX or even in the real world. So I'll be showing you a diagram as well as inside FSX. <laughs> Okay then, so, traffic patterns. We're going, this is the diagram that I thought would explain it the best. So it's from uh, smartflighttraining.com, so you can go and check out their website if you want. So we're going to start off with the green departure line here. This is really the sort of the easiest one to get understand, basically, I guess. Basically, you take off from the runway and you depart in any direction, and that is simply called departure. I'm sure you already knew that one, but there it is. So, we're then going to go with upwind leg, which is at the bottom there. Now, wing direction is going to be pointing in this way for this diagram, okay? Because downwind means you're flying with the wind. Upwind means you're flying against the wind, okay? So, that could easily be reversed if the if the wing was going the other, other way round, okay? Because, as you should know, aircraft land and take off into the wind, so say let's just call this runway left and right instead of giving it a number. So because wind is obviously traveling to the right, towards the right of the screen, that means that landings are going to be on runway left. Okay. If the wing was going the other way, landings would be on runway right. Therefore, this entire diagram would flip round if the wing was going the other way. Okay. If wind was pointing in the other direction, as this arrow shows, and that would then mean that the aircraft would have to take off and land on runway right. That means upwind leg would be at the top there facing the other way. And the downwind leg would be at the bottom of the screen facing the other way. Okay, that's basically how it works. So upwind means you're flying against the wind on the other side of the runway. Where you're going to swing all the way around and land when you so you swing all the way around from upwind to crosswind to downwind to base leg to final approach so that's basically what upwind is it's flying against the wind on the other side of the runway then as the aircraft will curve round and will sort of fly round really uh, you then go into the crosswind leg okay now usually that's just called crosswind and downwind leg is just called downwind and basically all that is is just again flying uh, from the top of the runway from runway right in this case uh, and then once again you swing round I mean it's hard to describe that's why the diagrams here you so just so you can view it and then you swing round and then you're running parallel with the runway once again but this time you're flying with the wind that is called the downwind leg and that is probably the most common phrase heard out of all of these maybe finalers um, so then, once again, you just carry on going down, and then you're flying at the bottom of the runway uh, against that, and that is called the base leg. Uh, again, hard to describe, but th that's what the diagram's there for. And then finally, swing round once again, coming in for final to land at runway left. Okay, that's basically all there is there, basically, and th that's what these FSX clips are showing at the Frygate Harbour. Um, so yeah, you just swing round, so from upwind, crosswind, downwind, base leg, final. And final is probably actually the one that you do hear the most on FSX. Downwind, you don't really hear much on FSX, but all the other phrases as well is something that's used a lot in the real world aviation and something that you may use in FSX multiplayer. So hopefully that's cleared up the definitions for you. If it hasn't, leave a comment. Uh, but if it has, remember to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new so like i said hope this has helped thanks for watching oh.